Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbecue Right. On today's episode, man, let me tell you what we're gonna do. Man, just not here, but pretty well everywhere inside the United States, it is cold. And when the weather starts turning cold in the winter time, that's when you start thinking about chilies and soups and stews and things of that nature. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna do a soup. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a smoked chicken gnocchi soup. This thing is gonna be so luscious. It's gonna be hearty, but yet so silky smooth. This is gonna have quite a bit of stuff in it. This is gonna be really good. I guarantee you that. So I'd like to ask you if you like what you see on the video today to subscribe to the channel and ding the bell and then hit all so you'll get notified every time we put up anything. I also like to ask you to like the contents of the video and to share it. Man, we're all over social media. We're on Facebook. You can find us there at Barbecue Riot. We also do Facebook Reels, obviously YouTube and YouTube Shorts, and Instagram and TikTok. So I tell you what, I'm going to shut my mouth. We're going to get this going. Giddy up. So to make this soup, we've got to start off with some smoked chicken. So we've got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We've got four of them. Let me show you how we're going to work those up real quick. All right, to prepare the breast, uh, I've got four boneless, skinless chicken breasts here. I took them out of the package, washed them, patted them dry. So what you want to do now, you're just going to hit them with a little bit of oil on each side. All right, we'll start with the back side. I'll show you how to do one, because obviously if you can do one, you can do them all. So we'll just do this guy right here. So we're going to hit it with some Cavender's Greek seasoning. I'm going to tell you, man, this is really good stuff. So all you want to do, you just want to put a coating on it. Come on, don't be camera shy now. All right, here we go. Just want to coat it on each side. Now, the reason I'm using this Cavender's, it's not real strong. This is not something where I'm going for like a barbecue type taste or anything like that. This soup's got a lot going on and I don't want the flavoring of the chicken to overpower the soup, so to speak. So, you know, this is, it's, a, it's very mild, but it's very good. So we'll just hit the other side with it. Now we're gonna smoke these on our electric smoker today, 275. Ball skin spray, you need to temp to 165. We're gonna temp them to about 162, pull them off, tin them for a few minutes, and then cut them up, cube them, and then we're gonna put them in our soup that way. So when our smoker's up to temp, we'll put these guys in. In the meantime, let me show you what we're gonna to do to get our rest of our ingredients ready. We're going to hit it with some chicken broth. We're going to hit it with some heavy whipping cream, some carrots, some onions, some Italian gnocchi. Uh, you may say, what is gnocchi? Okay, um, you can go ahead and just call it pretty much a potato pasta. It is found in the pasta section. You might can find it in the deli section, perhaps. But at my store, I found it in the pasta section. We're going to hit it with some celery as well. Uh, some fresh spinach, about a half a cup or so chopped up is going to hit this really well. Salt and pepper as well. And we're going to throw some rosemary in there. Now we're just going to throw the whole sprig in there. Probably about two sprigs. Uh, rosemary is so aromatic. It is wonderful. It smells so great. It's going to add such a great flavor to this soup. So those are the rest of the stars for the show. All right, our smoker's up to temp. Let's go ahead and throw our chicken on. We have some good hickory smoke coming out today. As you can see, I'm using a little wire rack. It makes things so much easier for transportation. Also, you'll want to shoot this with some oil of some kind so the chicken will stick. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh, by the way, this big guy right here, this is the biggest one. This is the one I'm going to be putting my probe into. See, I've got my probe there. And like I say, at 162, I'll go ahead and be pulling these off the heat, let them tent for a little while. All right, my timer tells me it's done. Let's look. Oh, those look good. Those look very good. Just very simply seasoned chicken breast. All right, let's take these inside. We'll let them rest. Then let's go ahead and start this soup. All right, so over medium heat, we've got a couple pats of butter in here. Let's go ahead and swirl these rascals around. All right, so now let's go ahead. Let's add some celery. It's about two stalks of celery. We diced up one medium onion. Throw all that in there. We've got about a tablespoon of minced garlic and about a cup of carrots. <laughs> Match sticks. All right, so all you want to do with this for about two minutes, just cook it. Don't want to cook them down, don't want to wilt them. Just cook them to where they're translucent. 
Right, so now we need to add our chicken broth. This is 32 ounces, four cups. Now we need to add in our three and a half pieces of chicken breast. Oh yes, I said half because this guy ate about half of it. So it's just a nice little chopped, diced, whatever you can call it. Actually diced. All right, let's add some kosher salt to this. About a couple pinches. Add some coarse ground black pepper. I really like black pepper, so we're gonna lay it on there. All right, that's probably pretty good there. All right, now we're gonna throw in a couple sprigs of rosemary. So we're gonna put those in there. We're gonna stir this all about. So now what we wanna do, we just wanna turn the heat up on this, and we want to bring this to a boil. Now that you have it boiling, add in your 16 ounces of gnocchi. So be careful, this is very hot. So just put them in there like so. Now you're going to want to boil these for another three or four minutes. Now let me tell you a little bit something about rosemary. Rosemary, I'm telling you man, this is so aromatic, it's going to add such flavor to this. But rosemary is a very tough herb, so to speak. It's not a lot, it's not a lot like a lot of the green ones that'll just fall apart and they're not very tough. Rosemary can really stand up to some heat. So this is going to do us a world of good. Now that this is boiled about five minutes, go ahead and turn the heat down to low or simmer and let this simmer for about 10 minutes. All right, we're about in third base on this soup. We've got 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream. Let's go ahead and add that to the mix. Now we have roughly a cup of chopped spinach. Go ahead and throw that in. Now we're adding the spinach last because this soup is pretty much done. You just want to just pretty much wilt your lettuce. We're going to cook this for another, I'm sorry, your spinach rather. So we're going to cook this for a couple minutes and we're going to put this together. So this is what it looks like before the last couple minutes. Right, so you'll want to go in and you'll want to find the rosemary and go ahead and just take the sprig out. If parts of the rosemary fell in it, it's okay. It's very edible, it tastes very good, and that looks like that might be what happened to the second sprig. I may find it as I dip this out. So anyway, let's go ahead and dip this, let's get it ready. So this is what we're left with. Top mine with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, added some breadsticks to it. Let's go ahead and see how this turned out. Let's give it a try. All right, let's go in for a bite. I can't wait to eat this, and I'm gonna critique the fire out of this too. So let's go ahead and get us a bite. This has got some chicken and a piece of gnocchi in it. Oh, a little Parmesan cheese. Got a little stringy on me. That's clean and it tastes very fresh. The very first thing I taste is the rosemary. That soup is infused with rosemary. It's, it's, it's perfect. The chicken, I can taste the smoked chicken on it. The chicken is not overpowering, but you can tell it just, it's, it's seasoned nicely. It's not over seasoned. It's not the wrong kind of seasoning. It, it, it goes with the grape. The gnocchi, it's, it's cooked perfectly. You get all of that in one bite. I could taste some, some spinach in it. I didn't get all the vegetables, but I did get a little bit of spinach. That was a tremendous, a tremendous bite of soup. You make this, it's very hearty, and it's also very creamy, it's very silky smooth. I'm telling you, it's delicious. This is delectable, go home and make it. Well, you probably are home. You will not be disappointed. So listen, I wanna thank you for all that you do. Thank y'all for tuning in, putting in with this guy's annex. I hope this really helped y'all out. Add another soup to your repertoire in the wintertime. Thank y'all again for all you do. Till next time, giddy up.